Okay, we're back here at this job. If you remember a few weeks ago, we were feeding and scarifying, and then we're gonna come back and see the results. Well, we're gonna do that today, but also the main task today is to trim up these edges along this curb and do an ugly lawn fix. The customer has been asking me for nearly 20 years to keep on top of it, but I've not done manana, manana, always. But today is the day we're gonna sort it out. So let's go get the tools out and we'll get started. Okay, so I just wanted to show you up close the edge. So we're quite a way over. We're probably two or three inches over there, all the way along. So I'm going to get my edging tool out and trim this up real nice. And if we've got time, I'll get the power washer out and give this curb a nice clean. And if also we've got time, I'm going to sort this edge out as well and put the edge back on here because this hasn't been touched in a long time either. So we'll give this a clean up, clean out the gravel, if we need to replenish some, we can, because I've got plenty around the back. So let's crack on. Right, okay, so we're going to need two tools today. We're going to need a shovel, but first of all, we're going to need a half moon or an edging tool. And what we're looking to do is find the back edge of this curb. Now, what you're looking for is to hear a bit of a crunch off the curb. So I know I've gone in too far there, but I'm actually, I'm actually spot on. So what I can do now is just work back this way. And what I'm looking for is a crunch this, the metal just touching the back of the curb, and this means I'm on line. If you don't hear anything, it means you're veering away into the lawn, and when you actually come to um, skim off the edge, you're going to have a big gouge missing out of your turf. So it's better just doing it very slow and just listening for that noise. You can hear it, so it's like a grinding noise, like a crunch. And then I'll just go all the way along, find that crunch, and then we'll get the shovel out and we'll just go all the way across. Okay, so that's the back edge cut. Absolutely knackered. Right thigh is absolutely burning. So what we'll do now is get the shovel and a flexi tub to put the stuff in and we'll just skim this right off and we'll clean up all this debris and detritus off the road, get rid of them weeds so it looks even nicer when we're finished. So let's go and do that. Right, so what we're looking to do now is just get our shovel underneath all that moss and grass and it should just come away really freely because we've already done our slicing down the back. There might be a few areas where it's stuck a little bit just because I've not managed to get all the way through, maybe because the, uh, the concrete was sticking up or something, but I'm confident I shouldn't have any issues. So we can just do this road as well. Get rid of all these leaves, all the soil that's fallen off here. When it rains over the years, it's gathered. The leaves have rotted down. So let's just do this and then we'll get the power washer out. It's not taking as long as I thought actually, so we should uh, do this in good time. So we can just pick those bits up. It's quite therapeutic actually. Just slice it along. I say I've been meaning to do this for many years, so I think the customer will be really shocked when they see see what we've done. Because, like I say, they've been asking me for a long time, but it's just not something that I do really. This, but today, because I've got a bit of free time on my hands and I'm here, I thought, why not? Now, I've just got a little tip for you. If you see a little bit of grass sticking out of your curb, never just spray that with Roundup because that is connected to this area here. So that will be a, a side shoot off here. So if we kill that, we're going to kill whatever it's connected to on here. So just beware. And what we can do is we can just pull it out and it might grow back, but that's, the, that's all we can do. So I say if we start killing that, we're going to kill the whole lawn, not the whole lawn off, but a big patch of it, and that won't look very good. So just a nice little nugget of information there for you. Okay, so that's a great job, well done. 
If we have a look closer, we can see that some of the lawn had actually encroached right to the edge of the flag, so it's a good job getting this back because we'd be growing down the curb otherwise. So what we'll do now is we'll go and concentrate on the other semicircle bit, get that nicely edged, and then once we've done that, we can get the power washer out and clean these curb stones up real nice, and then that's job done. Okay, so I've roughly found the edge and then we've got all this weed that we killed off last time. The weed killer is working very slow, but it is working, which is good news. So now it's just a case of getting in there and picking all the detritus out and getting it as clean as we can. Let's like say if we need to dig any areas out because the grass has just taken it over and it's just one big mat, like I think it will be at the front there, we'll just take that away and then we replenish the stones. So I'll take all this edge away, see what it looks like and then we can rake all the stones, get all the leaves out and then they should be looking quite nice. If we need to, we can always power wash them, clean them up a little bit, but I don't think we'll need to, but it's an option anyway. So let's crack on because we're losing light and I want to get finished. Okay, so that looks a lot better. All I've spent on that is 10 minutes and know what I've done. So let's just have a look at it before. Now, what a turnaround. So let's now crack on with the power washing of these edging stones. Right, okay, so I'm just ready to start power washing. Now, a great tip for any power washer, be it petrol or electric, even more so electric because the components on that tend to be plastic rather than metal uh, is to get rid of any airlock in the system before you switch it on so all that is is literally you set your power washer up turn the tap on but don't turn the power on and just let the air get out of the nozzle it takes a while but eventually you'll hear it go <laughs> air will all come out and then you'll know there's no air in the system so I've used this today, so there shouldn't be too much in. So I think we're good to go because we've got a nice steady stream. You can just hear it. Oh, there you go. So a bit of air. So what do I know? Even though I've used it, there's still air in there. So as soon as that's done, we'll be able to start. So I think that's it. So now we can start the engine. Okay, so that's power washed, all looking really nice, what a transformation. All I've got to do now is I'm just going to sweep this water up and because it's frosty in the morning, I've brought a bag of salt. I'm just going to throw a bit of salt on the road as well. I'm just conscious that um, it's going to be minus two tomorrow and it's a slip hazard, so I'm going to negate that by throwing some rock salt down, 
then we can call this one a done deal. So let's go get that done. Be careful you don't get any on the grass because this will kill. One of the common problems I find is when you have a lawn next to the drive is that people go out, they put salt down and then it snows and then the first thing they do is they shovel the snow onto the lawn and you take all that salt that was on the drive and you put it on the lawn and it kills it. So just be uh, mindful of that when you're putting salt down doesn't really matter here much that if I get it on here but if I was at Howard say on his new front lawn we have to be really careful there so we're going to put some got some puddles here so I'll just put some in there because these are going to freeze and create little uh, slippy ice rinks so we don't want anybody uh, slipping and suing me so hopefully this uh, by law kind of gets me out of any mischief should anybody slip, I've done the best I can, other than not doing the power washing in the first place. Right, job done. So we just have a look at this bit, looks fantastic. I decided to leave the moss on, it's not doing any harm to anybody, it looks nice. And this area across the road, it just needs to look half decent, it doesn't need to look really good. But I think it just adds to it and it's just life, isn't it? So uh, moss on the lawns, no, no, moss on rocks, I don't mind. So looking at the curbs all nice and clean you noticed I had to get the power wash out again because when I swept there it went all over there and made a right mess so I had to rinse it down but yeah from where we were before I think the customer is going to be really pleased so take care and we'll see you next time